Hello, so we are back Monday and we have a nice laptop to fix. It's a Lenovo. We have Ryzen 5 and Radeon graphics, IdeaPad S540. The problem with this one is wine damage. Yeah, wine. We don't know what kind of wine, but that's the problem. Okay, let's see. Let me move the Coca Cola from here. Because we will have a Coca-Cola and wine damage laptop after that. Now, important is the diagnostic. And coming with the power supply, yeah. We have the, to pay attention on the power supply on the ammeter. Uh, laptop is dead. Pressing the port button, nothing happened, yeah. Okay, so I'm touching the middle pin. Pressing the power button and the current is doing nothing. Yeah, look at the current. It's going to up like 1.5 amps. Then it's going to 0 0.4. And that's all. The, the keyboard light is coming on. The current is going up. And it's going back to 0 0.4. I mean, I don't know what 0 0.4 is, because even for a charging current, it's too low. Yeah, so let's open the laptop quickly and have a look. It's looking good. I mean, uh, the laptop is responding to the power button. We can have a damaged keyboard. Yeah, we can. But my concern is to bring the board to life, yeah? Then if the customer wants to replace the keyboard, you know, not every every customer wants to replace the keyboard. The keyboard is expensive. And they choose to pay like five, ten pounds and buy external keyboard and they can use the laptop with the external keyboard. Of course, the price price of the keyboard is not inside of the price for the motherboard repair. It's an extra, you know, something extra. If the customer wants to replace the keyboard or not. But you have to let the customer know on a liquid damage job, uh, the keyboard also is possible to be faulty. Because otherwise, you will have a surprise. You fix the laptop and... Uh, you tell the customer, okay, I fixed the laptop, but you need a keyboard, and the keyboard is that much on top. And the customer will say, yeah, but we, we agree together to a price, yeah, when I when I give you the laptop. And you tell me that's the price for the laptop to be repaired. Now you tell me I have to pay extra, you know. This kind of uh, awkward uh, dialogue, yeah. So tell the customer from before. Actually, it is possible there to be a dead keyboard okay it's still holding yeah we have one more screw here and that's the laptop it's looking good it's looking like new can you see any damage? I mean, we have the M2 drive. We have, look, the RAM memory on the board. Probably even here is some RAM memory. Look, where is the IO chip under the heatsink? See this one. Nice, yeah? I can't zoom anymore. Okay. Good. So I suppose we have to take the board out, yeah, because uh, can be the liquid maybe came from the other came from the other side, yeah. Because I remember I test the keys, yeah. Let me take out the board. Okay, you know what's the problem? I open the board and I can't see any liquid damage. You can see anywhere liquid damage. I mean, look at the laptop, it's perfectly clean. Still, the keyboard feels sticky, the keys. But here, I can't see liquid damage. 
like the customer said, wind damage. Here it's a little bit sticky on this frame. But strange, it's not even point to open this. Clearly this is sealed, yeah? Yeah, no way. Well, it's no seal, bro. Ah, uh, no way. Now, we should concentrate here on this side of the board if we can see any liquid damage. <clears throat> and I can't see any liquid damage. Okay, that's good. So, no, no liquid damage. We should test the laptop without the keyboard, right? Let's try it. Okay, let's come with some voltage, but how we can power on here yeah, from this button. Now let's see if it's working. Pressing the power button and it's coming on and goes off. Look like 800 milliamps and it's going off. Yeah, so it's not a keyboard. Let's see what do we have here. Here we have another RAM memory. It's taking 400 milliamps. So this is the charging current because it's too low. Pressing the power button. Pressing the power button. The current is going up. And then it's going back to zero. You know what? Let's try something else, yeah? This board, I didn't test this board. I didn't took it out, nothing, yeah? And I believe here we have the proximity, uh, the, the lead sensor. So what I will do, I will press the power button and I will take this cable out. And still nothing. Okay, this is a strange fault. It's strange because, you know, if it's not charging, I can understand that. But when it's charging 400 milliamps, that doesn't look right. I mean, it looks like either I have a faulty, but I cannot have a faulty charging circuit. Because this fault must be related with the fact, actually, the laptop is not coming on. So, uh, who is setting up the charging current? No one. The charging current is inside of the battery. But my IO chip, which is here, is reading the battery, then is speaking with my charging circuit, and that's how the charging current is set up. So, uh, based on the fact this is coming on, goes off, can be a software issue. Like, you see, we have here a BIOS chip. And, uh, yeah, we can have, like, you know, this is like a common fault. I mean, it's coming on, goes off. And also the charging card is not right. Looks like a software. Okay, here is something strange. Yeah? So when I connect the, the power, I have one chip is coming uh, warm and then it's going off. And uh, I just want to know what voltage is there. That chip is coming on and goes off. Yeah, what voltage is on this power supply? Three point three, but it's not going off. Huh. It's not going off. <laughs> no, I believe, I, I believe. We are uh, we are already on the other side. When actually we start having laptops with software issues more than hardware. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to find a BIOS for this laptop and try to write the BIOS. Yeah, we have a new programmer, so it should be quick. See you in a while. 
Okay, so everything is set up with the new programmer. We connect the clip to the BIOS. And now all what we have to do is to read it. Read, it's quite fast, quite fast. And then, uh, then verify with the buffer. Good, verify. Just to be sure it's good, yeah. Perfect. Now let's write file open. Uh, I do have one. This one, a new BIOS, yeah? Open. And now write it, yeah? So it's doing erasing, it's doing writing, and then it's doing checking. And I'm curious to see what's happening. I mean, this looks like a software problem. I can't see any liquid damage. Can be a coincidence or can be the wine goes on the keyboard and something happened, like, you know, it's like pressing many keys. I don't know, it's weird, it's strange, I'm, I'm curious. So now it's programming the BIOS. And then verify. Yeah. And if everything is fine, we will see if we have a working laptop or who knows. All good. Now let's check together. I should plug the battery first. Let's plug the battery. Let me go with the power supply to see the charging current. I'm curious if anything changed. No, we have same charging current. Let's press the power button. Let's press the power button. Come on, just sit there. Okay, good. Well, let's press the power button. I press the power button. And nothing happened. It's going to like 600 milliamps. Oh no, 1.4, 1.2. And it's going to zero. Ha ha. Hmm. One more time. Nah, you know what? It's impossible to be too biased to have uh, to be faulty, right? <laughs> no, nah, this is not bias. Nah, I think I got lazy, you know, and when I see I'm not uh, what coming on laptop, oh, it's bias. Nah, this is not bias. It's a hardware fault. Let me see if it's coming on if I on the battery. No, on the battery is not coming on. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. This is a hardware fault. Nah, I got tricked. Nah. Let me try something else. So without the battery. Uh, this one, this must be some hardware fault. But now we have a, we have a reason. Oh, it's software. Nine hundred milliamps, and it's going to zero. You can see the fan; it starts spinning, and then it's going to zero. Nah, this is hardware. This is a hardware fault. Hmm. Huh. Okay, let me do some research. I will come back quick. Okay, okay. Okay, let's check something interesting. Yeah, so let's uh, plug the charger. Yeah, plug the charger. And like usually, it's taking 400 milliamps. Yeah, now let's check the voltage on the BIOS chip. 
1.8, which is right. Yeah, this is a bio chip at 1.8 volts. The IO chip is taking power from here, and here we have 3.3. You can see good. Now, let's disconnect the charger and let's rest the, the laptop to run on the battery because that's the that's I mean, for me, it's a starting point why the laptop is not starting on the battery. So the battery has 14.8. Yeah, the laptop should start. Yeah, it's a discharge battery, but should start. Now let's check one more time the 3.3, which is the voltage of the IO chip, and it is present 3.3. Now let's check the 1.8 from the BIOS chip, and it's not voltage on the BIOS chip. That's why my laptop is not starting on the battery. So on the battery, I can push the power button, nothing will happen. Because my bio ship has no power on it. So yeah, this is a hardware fault. This is a hardware fault. Okay, so all what we have left to do now is to... Wait, I have schematic. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Let's try with those schematic, yeah? Let's uh, find the 1.8 volts power supply, which is good because when I plug the charger, I do have 1.8. And see why it's not starting on uh, when the battery is plugged in. Okay, now I will open every bit from this motherboard because uh, this got faulted by wind damage. So I want to check every centimeter of this motherboard before we are before I'm checking anything else. Yeah. First, we are checking, we are taking the shield from the other side of the board. And we are checking every part of this motherboard. Let's take out this shield. Okay, so that's the motherboard, and uh, I really don't see any liquid damage here. I mean, it looks, looks perfectly fine to me. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me. Look what I missed on this motherboard. That's crazy. Because you know what? Because this was under heat sink. So check here. I can't believe. This is clearly a sloppy work. Because the heat sink was here. So check here. So the heat sink was like that, yeah? And the liquid damage is exactly under this. The liquid damage is exactly there. That's crazy. That's insane. You see? You see, you try to take some shortcuts and... We have BIOS programmer, you know? It's easy now. <laughs> okay, let's try and clean it. How we are cleaning the, the wine? I suppose this is a red wine with water. So let me bring some water and clean it. Yeah, I do have some water here. <clears throat> I do have some water here. Yoy, yoy, this. Uh, okay, my bad. So we do have some water. The best is the water is the best to clean, like wine damage or Coca Cola damage or whatever is sweet, yeah, with water. Huh? 
We are doing a good job. Look, you can't even see it anymore. Perfect. Now let's dry with the uh, hot air. Perfect. Let me raise the temperature. Okay, what I will do... Let me get some rosin, um, liquid rosin I want here. Liquid, ros uh, liquid rosin is perfect on these kind of jobs. You see the alcohol is getting evaporated and all what is left is pure rosin which it will isolate any pin. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now the question is, it will work? That's the that's the that's the question, yeah. So let me feed the back the heat sink. Coming on and staying on. It's staying on. My laptop is on. My laptop is on. It's taking one point three amps. You can see on the screen. And it's working. I can't believe. And if I take the charger, it's still uh, staying on. Uh, we have no keyboard. We have no keyboard plugged in. Yeah, okay, so it's working fine. Clearly it's working fine. The battery is holding the charge. Now let me put it all back together because we don't have the keyboard connected. I will have to put back this shield. And then test it. Our laptop is working fine. But what do we have to do now? is to load the original BIOS back because with this BIOS and his, uh, his uh, memory it will not work, his hard drive, as the hard drive, it will not work yeah, you will have, it will ask you for the BitLocker or the Windows cannot be activated so I'll write back the original BIOS but it's good to know this BIOS is working, the one with what I write here so I'll write back the original BIOS and uh, let's see after that. So we save the BIOS here. Now this one was original. Now let's wait for the BIOS to get uh, righted and check after. Now you will ask yourself, sorry, why on the earth? you will try to reload the BIOS on a liquid damage job. And the answer is very simple yeah, and co it's coming from experience. So you can see this board actually is not really damaged by liquid. So what will happen? In a case of liquid damage, the laptop it will still work and the customer it will not come to repair. So if his device is working, he will not come for a repair. So the laptop is still working, one month later, two months later, the laptop stopped working. The customer, it will come for repair, and it will say, because the liquid damage, what happened a few months ago, my laptop is not working. 
when actually the problem can be different. Okay, so everything is fine with uh, reload the uh, original BIOS. Now let's test it. That's why, because otherwise, you know, it's making no sense. Battery is still low. Let's see if it's coming on with the original BIOS. I mean, the charging current still look uh, blow, but maybe that's that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. Or maybe a battery has an issue. I don't really know. Yeah, okay, so it's still working with the original BIOS. Now let me connect his uh, M2 drive. But you will expect like something like that. I mean, from the whole motherboard, from the whole motherboard, where you can drop up, up, up a drop anywhere actually was behind of the heat sink exactly here on the on the IO chip strange right now let's see now and now we have the charging sign and now it's charging with 1.4 amps. Ah, oh, no, 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 the laptop, come on. It's coming on and it's loading the windows. And it's working. I can't see the charging sign. I can see the charging LED is on. It's holding the charge, the battery, but I can't see the charging sign. Nah, it's not holding the charge. The laptop shut down. He's saying he's charging the battery. Loading the windows. It does charge the battery. We have the char the battery sign, uh, the charging sign on the on the battery there. Yeah, and if I take the, the power, it shows me an X. And if I come with the power, I have the charging sign. Yeah, I have a picture on the screen. I have to edit the video to blur that picture. Okay, so the laptop is working fine. We fix it. We fix it, but you know, now now it's so easy oh it's not coming on okay let's uh, let's try a bias <laughs> and it's easy because you can find the bios on discord you go on search and you find bios file or download the bios file and yeah <sighs> okay i'm really sorry but i'm only a human so i'm i'm doing mistakes like anyone else but i'm happy i uh, i fixed the i fixed the i fixed the laptop i'm happy Tricky fault, you have to admit it. it was a tricky one. Okay, so I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and see you on the next one. Bye.